Hello there and welcome to A Level Further Maths. Here we're looking at the mean value of a function so we can answer questions from exercise 3b. Let's first of all address what the mean value of a function is. It's basically the mean value of the height of the graph or the average height that the graph will be. So what is the average height of this curve in between A and B? And that's the question that we need to solve. So how are we going to work this out? Well, our heights at the moment are f of a and f of b. But you can see that the majority of this graph is actually closer towards f of b than it is f of a. So what would the average height be across this interval? That's the question we've got to ask. Now one way of doing it is to draw infinitely many lines and then measure them all and then add them all up together and divide by how many lines you've got. So you're effectively working out the mean there, aren't you? When you work out the mean, you add a lot of things up, then divide by how many things you've added together. Now, if we do that as the limit of the amount of lines that we've got here approaches infinity, then this is effectively what we've got. We've got the average is equal to add up all of the heights of the lines, and the heights of the lines is represented by the function with the certain input value substituted in, but then you need to divide by how many, how many um, lines you've added up together. So this is effectively the problem that we have. How can we make sense of this little limit and summation? Well, the top, hopefully you'll be familiar that when you combine a limit and a summation, you get the area of the graph. You get what you can do when you do integration, when you um, work out the limit of a sum and you um, add up lots of very small um, lines or um, things together, is, you, is you've got the... Um, the integral. So what we've got now is we've got the area of this curve, but now it doesn't really make sense to divide by n because, well, what would n be? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to think, okay, well, how high on average will this graph be if I know the area of the graph and I know what the um, width is? We'll think of it like a square. If I've got a square where the same width is on the bottom and I've got the same area as this graph on the left hand side, how would I work out what the height is? Now the width of this box is from A to B. So the width of the box is B minus A. If it was 5 to 2 then the width of the bar would be 3, so it's 5 minus 2, that's where the 3 comes from. So to work out the height or the average value of the function, the height, we're going to have to do area divided by width. So this is effectively what we've got here. We've got area on the top divided by width on the bottom. And the width of this function is going to be, so width of this interval is going to be b minus a. So this is the formula that you need to remember to do mean values of a function questions. It's 1 divided by b minus a, because that's the width of the um, interval, divide, and we're doing that, um, we're dividing that by, or we're dividing the area by that uh, interval. So it's going to be area divided by width to give you height, and that's effectively the mean value of the height. OK, so when it says the mean value of a function, it's effectively saying, what's the average height of this graph, the output, the average output? And this is how you work it out. Write this formula down. This is the one we're going to be working with. OK, so we're going to go through just one question here. So we're just going to go through the example part A first. Find the mean value of this function over the interval from 2 to 6. So what this means is that 2 is going to be the lower limit, 6 is going to be the upper limit. So we'll take that integral that we saw before and just plug in the values. So a is going to be 2, b is going to be 6, and this is our function. So let's go ahead and plug all the numbers in. It's going to be 1 over 4 because that's 6 minus 2, which is 4. The integral is going to be in between 6 to 2. And the function is 4 over the square root of 2x minus 3. We're going to be doing this by integration by substitution. u will equal 2x minus 3. And then when you apply the integration, you get this expression here. I'm not, I have got limits on this function. I've got boundaries that I'm working between. 
but I don't you can you can do it two ways you can do one way where you change the boundaries into u boundaries or you can just keep it as x's and substitute your u for x back in and then a good little touch is to keep it as x equals 6 and x equals 2 just as a mental reminder that these are x substituting in values rather than u substituting in values okay so we apply the integration and we do the integration uh, by substitution substitute in the u again so u is equal to 2x minus 3 so substitute u for 2x minus 3 in and then substitute in your boundaries 6 and 2 so that's going to be a quarter for the two halves multiplying together 6 substituted in that would be 12 minus 3 which is 9 that's 3 square rooted um, and then substitute 2 in, that would be 4 minus 3, square root of that is 1, so it's four, 3 minus 1, which is 2, 2 quarters is 1 half. So the mean value of this function, the average height of the graph in between 2 to 6, is a half. Okay, moving on to part B then, find the mean value of 2 f of x over the same interval, so when we've got the function 2f of x, it will be the same as the function f of x, but everything will be stretched upwards by a scale factor of 2. So therefore the mean value of the height will be doubled as well, so in this case it's equal to 1. So you didn't need to go through and do the whole question again, just see how you can work out part b from the knowledge you've got from part a. And then part C, you can see that there's some link between g of x and f of x, and it's your job to then just work out what the link is between the two. To get from f of x to g of x, you divide by 4 and then times by 3 to get rid of the 4 and to replace it with a 3, and then add 5 because the g of x function has got an add 5 on the end. So that's exactly what you're going to be doing with your mean value as well. Your mean value is going to be multiplied by 3 quarters and then added on 5 because the stretch is going to be a stretch by 3 quarters in the height and then you'll add 5 to the height so your mean value will just have that same um, scale factor applied. So it's going to be 5 and 3 eighths. Okay, so your turn to have a go at questions. Uh, one question from page 61, exercise 3b. Pause video and give this question a go. Okay, so the answer to this question, let's get started. It's going to be minus, so it's going to be 1 over 2 because it's uh, in 1 over b minus a from the boundary of 2 down to 0 of e to the 3x over e to the 3x plus 1. Now this to me looks like it's going to be a Lun integral. If I differentiate the bottom, I roughly get the top. What do I get if I differentiate the bottom? I'm going to get 3e to the 3x. So I, I can't just introduce a 3 there without balancing it out as the coefficient at the front. It's going to have to balance out by dividing by 3 at the front. So I've now got 1 sixth at the front. Now I've got a perfect Lun integral where the differential of the bottom is equal to the top. So it's going to be ln e to the 3x plus 1. And that's going to be in between the boundary of 2 to 0. Now let's substitute in those boundaries. It's going to be ln e to the 6 plus 1 minus e. Uh, anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then I suppose I could combine these two together. When you subtract learns, you divide. So it's going to be ln e to the 6 plus 1 over 2. Uh, and that's the answer for this question. So find the mean value of this function over that domain. There we are. Lovely. So there we are. That's all we're going to go through in this video. Make sure you have a go at plenty of the questions now from exercise 3b. All of those problem solving questions, the exam style questions. Make sure you've done all of them before moving on. Lovely, thanks very much. Hopefully you found this video helpful.